Let's go down to the ballpark and Dan Coco checks in. Dan on Dan. That was a night to remember, April 28th, wasn't it, Dan? Sure was, Johnny. That's one that sticks out in my mind, being here next to the dugout in every Nationals fan's mind, I'm sure. Maybe the turning point of this season. We'll have to see how things play out, but the Nationals certainly started to play in better ball after that massive comeback and that great 13-12 win. Now, Dan Ugla's numbers this season overall aren't ones that'll make people around the league really take notice. He's hitting 235, just the one homer, as you mentioned, and just 12 RBIs. But he's really been a nice addition for this ball club in a number of ways. His presence in the clubhouse and the kind of bench presence that he's provided and his ability to come in and get a big hit when needed. I talked to Ugla earlier today about that big comeback, his massive home run in that win against the Braves. And Matt Williams also talked about what Ugla has added this season to this Nationals ball club. We got a win in a much needed time, you know, and it was a, it was a cool victory. Uh, kind of, I'm not saying that that game got us going, but it would kind of stop the bleeding a little bit. And we, uh, we, uh, it turned out to have a pretty good month of uh, month of May, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this month uh, in June has been big for the guys on the bench, you included. Um, what type of pride do you take on being able to to step in and contribute when you get the opportunity? And what's it been like to watch the bench overall this last month perform so well? Uh, well, anytime you you got a lot of us out there at uh, one time, you get probably kind of nervous. But we got a we got a great bench. We got some guys that you know just can roll out of bed and, and can hit. So uh, you know it doesn't mean that we don't want our guys to hurry up and get back because we do. Well, you know much better on the. You know, much better with uh, Zim and, and Rendon and everybody out there. So we're excited for those guys to get back and, you know, we can pick up some of the slack while they're, while they're down, and that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. I just think it's better in leadership. It's, uh, he, you know, he's been there. He's done it. He's got huge numbers uh, that he brings with him. Uh, but he's also got attitude that he's willing to do whatever is necessary to help us win. There's often times that... He doesn't get in the game for an extended period, but he stays ready. And then you get in a situation like we had over the weekend where he gets a lot of at-bats in a couple of days, and he's prepared for it. So that's just being a professional and being a, a veteran guy and understanding the game. And that, you know, you, you show up, you work, you're prepared. It could be one at-bat uh, that day or it could be four, and he's ready for all of them. I don't know how many people expected when the Nationals signed Dan Ugla to a minor league contract this offseason for Ugla to be in the starting lineup on opening day. I don't know how many people necessarily thought that Ugla would be uh, delivering massive home runs for this ball club, coming off the bench and giving a big pinch hit. But he's done all of those things so far this season. A rough couple years, the last couple for Ugla, but he's come into this Nationals ball club, really fit in seamlessly in the clubhouse and delivered on the field as well, Johnny. He's been a big-time pickup.